Okay, before we start off this video, just two things. One, the Tetris 99 stuff I was talking about doing, yeah, I'm backing out of that just because I'm in the middle of trying to get stuff off of Pokemon Go and trying to get stuff off of the Nintendo Switch so I can run both of those things. So, yeah, I'm going to be very busy catching Pokemon and transferring pictures and stuff like that. As for this content for Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet, mostly Scarlet, one other thing, sorry I said two things, but one other thing, do not watch this until you've seen the live stream I made for the DLC, the Teal Mask, because this is a spoiler going into that. Also a spoiler going into something else, but we'll cover that later. The other thing, the last thing, is this was supposed to be two big videos that I was going to work on, but... I haven't even uploaded all of Super Mario Bros. Wonder or Sonic Superstars, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. So, I'm just going to upload some of these Pokemon Scarlet DLC videos sporadically and not add them at all. Not until I am good and ready to. I've got too many other projects to deal with. So, I'd say enjoy this Pokemon Scarlet post-game material. And yes, I actually do mean that, but uh, here's the spoiler. It's not for the DLC. So I hope you enjoy that. Yo, boos, this is Way to Play the Brenton Bushworks of YouTube, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet again. Because in case you didn't already see the stream, I have already covered the DLC. Or have I? Yep. It's time I address the elephant in the room. In fact, there are a couple of different things I need to talk about. Um, that kind of goes into this very involved video. But first, spoilers! If you haven't seen the stream, including this gem, oh boy, I don't know what else to tell you. It's your fault, not mine. Okay, so, I have a couple of things to mention. I was able to find all of the quote-unquote loyal three in their respected areas. As you can see with Fezzendipity, I found it right outside of the ice cave, whatever that's called, and I was able to catch all three of them. Just trust me, I've got all three. I've nearly, probably completed the Pokedex other than a few trades I need to do. But I was very, very much spoiled in Twitten X. I let my guard down super hard. First off, Feebass. We'll uh, talk about that later. But second off, there's at least one new Pokemon, quote unquote new, that I had no clue existed, but everyone else did. I don't know how to get it. And that's part of what I'm doing right now, but if I have to look stuff up, I will. But first, funding. There is a statue that needs funding. And I was told, hey, I don't have to pay it all myself. I can try to get teachers to help invest in it. So we're going to test that theory right here and now. If we go into my menu, and I believe bag, you will see I have over a million pokey and plenty of things to sell just in case I don't. But I really, really, really want to test to see how this works. Uh, apparently... Huh. 
Apparently there are a couple of things I can do. Home ec room, I'm still trying to do. I need, I need a certain Herba Mystica that I just can't get. And guys, I need your help trying to get it. At some point, I'm going to do a stream where I try to farm for Herba Mystica by doing six to seven star raids. Help me out with this. Let me know if you're interested. But for right now... Well, I'm at the entrance hall. But for right now, let's see what some of these other characters have to say. Now that I have gotten done with the main part of the DLC. Where are you, Penny? I have no idea where she is. I'm probably gonna have to make a lot of cuts in just this video alone. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. Penny, there you are! I don't know if I need a full screen for this one. Oh! What? Bread tan? Hurry up and hide and keep quiet, okay? Wait, what? Shoot, this might actually be important. Huh? Oh, I see Team Star. That was close. Oh, uh, something up? Yeah, you know, I'm just... Uh, I guess I might as well come clean. Take a look over there. Yes, I see him. Do you get now? Uh, I still need a little context, though. Sorry, your jump scare earlier completely frazzled me. My brain's still trying to reboot. Alright, here's the sitch. Teen Star has started coming to school again. But I don't know if they're gonna fit in okay, and if it's been playing on my mind, you know? You know, this might have not had anything to do with the DLC. I have no idea anymore. So I'm checking on them from over here. Huh, I guess we're still not exactly getting a warm welcome here, huh? You're an adult. Well, duh. Sure, the teachers finally figured out how we're not a bunch of delinquents. But it's not like we can press some magic button to make everyone else accept us. True story. We gotta fix this, my man. Time for a change attack. Huh? A change attack? What, are they gonna start wearing normal school uniforms so they stop scaring off the other kids? Oh, Momo, Woody, they're both really trying their best to fit in here at school. A change attack, huh? What exactly are you suggesting? But, I mean, uh... How about we say a big friendly howdy to everyone here? Just yell at me loud as can. No, 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 don't do that. What? That's stupid! Go on and embarrass yourself if you want to, but count me out! Uh, yeah, that idea seems a bit off. Hold on, let me explain. You know Vine, right? She does this at her concerts, no joke. If the crowd ain't hyped at the start of the show, she'll shout the loudest greeting you ever heard into the mic, like, Sup, y'all! Or whatever. Lifts the mood like nobody's business. Yeah, that makes sense, because those c are concerts. This is school. It's different. Okay, smart guy. So we're opting for the cold shoulder treatment forever then, are we? Penny, you might want to come in and do something about this. No, oh, that totally suck. It would, wouldn't it? So yeah, our only option is to yell at everyone so they know we're t nice. Yeah, go team yell! I already made this stupid joke. Let's go for it! Oh boy. Hey, morning yell! How are we all feeling today? I think 
You scared everyone off. What are you doing, Kimiko? Whatever your name is, that's so embarrassing. Everyone having a good time? Come on, Ortega. You gotta do it too. Hold on a sec. You, you're just practicing for your DJ sets, aren't you? Thanks for coming tonight. Quick, say it. Th thanks for coming tonight. I guess. What do you mean, thanks for coming? We're not hosting anything. What on earth? Are those guys from Team Star? What the heck are they yelling for? Is this some kind of skit? <laughs> they're pretty funny. I guess they're not as scary as I thought. No way. But people are actually warming up to them. Why? That makes no sense. It makes zero sense. <sighs> Momo and Ordi really are operating on a different level. I'm kind of amazed. Seems all my worrying was for nothing, huh? Now that that's all settled, I guess I should get going. Hasla V-Star! Hasla V-Star, Penny! I think that was just a small little thing that just happened. Nice! Alright, well, there's still one other thing I could do, whether or not it's going to, uh, do anything for me in the DLC. But let's go to the... Oh, wow. Now I can go to the school store. Uh, let's go to the cafeteria first and talk to Arvin. See how he's doing. He kind of went through a... Harsh arc at the very end of Scarlet and Violet, after all. Yo, Brenton! You grabbing something to eat, too? Man, you sure did give me a beating in that Academy Ace Tournament. Seems like all my closest buddies are in another league, you know? I mean, look at you. You just came up and became a champion and got a new haircut. What's up with that? It's your first year to boot. You know, that's pretty amazing, right? Then there's Nimona. Top marks in every class at school, and she's champion rank too. And I hear Penny's got some kind of offer to work for the Pokemon League or something? Something about siphoning League points, which was really, really bad, and I was very mute about it? Uh, I seem to be the only average one here. Nothing special about me. Well, you're great at cooking. No, I'm not gonna say your mom's super famous. You're great at cooking. Nah, I mean, it's just like a hobby, really. I only learned how to do the basics because my mom wasn't around to cook for me. And it went back into a circle. Wait, my mom! See, now that Mabel Stiff is doing so much better, and since the treasure hunt is still going and all, I've been thinking of a new goal to find myself. And I guess you've really got to start by knowing where you come from. Which means I should learn more about my mom, right? She was a student at this school once, too. That's what I heard. I'm going to search the whole school for info about what kind of person she really was. Thanks for the inspiration, little buddy. Okay, bye. I have a feeling this video is going to be a lot longer than I originally thought it would. Well, shoot. At least now I'm figuring it all out slowly. Alright, let's go talk to Penny. I didn't know we were doing this arc. I'm so dumb. Shouldn't be that hard to find. My darling is always falling asleep. What a silly thing. Oh, hey, Brenton. I check in on Atticus. We're gonna check on every single one, aren't we? So keep your voice down, okay? Okie dokie. Predict something. Hmm. I must say, the Academy Emporium stocks some rather splendid wares. I admit my expectations were far lower than warranted. 
Wow, he really seems to have taken a shine to the school store. Doesn't seem like he'll notice us anytime soon, so I guess there's no point whispering. Also, I was probably using the wrong voice. You know, all of my teen star friends, it's Atkiss I'm worried will have the most trouble fitting in. Let's try the different voice this time. <clears throat> Greetings, my good shopkeep. I would very much like to acquire the limited edition ninja garments released today. I, released, I believe you have five sets in stock, yes? Ah, the ninja cosplay set, yes? I'm sorry, dear, but someone bought the last two from us earlier. We're completely sold out. Ah! What? This cannot be! <laughs> I, I love that we can see, like, the school pants underneath the cloak. That's great. If I'm unable to procure those garments, why I... Uh, that would ruin everything! It appears I have no choice but to track down this rival patron of mine. And when I find them... Ah! He's handsome! Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Then I shall fix them with my piercing gaze and beg on bended knee for the ninja garments I so crave. What? Since when was Atticus this good looking? Wait, no, focus. If he starts begging for some kid for those ninja outfits, people are thinking he's gonna be a weirdo. We should stop him, right? Uh, let's see how this pans out. Seriously, but... Oh, Don Atticus, there you are. Didn't know who was talking. My young comrade, I I must apologize. Oh, about the garments I promised you so that we might dress as ninja together. Oh yeah, I guess covered. I only bought two sets of that ninja cosplay stuff for us to wear. I beg your pardon. When I came here earlier, the shopkeep lady lady was putting them out on the shelves, so I just stumbled there. So I bought one for you and one for me. You know how popular these outfits are. I was super lucky to be able to snag them. Now come on, let's go play ninja outside. Goodness me, what a happy turn of events. I shall retrieve my shuriken from my quarters so that we may enjoy some target practice. Ooh, awesome! I can also use my masterful stitchery to transform thy ninja garments into a sublime vision of poison. What say you? Uh, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> the insolence of this one. I did not expect a face reveal today. Oh, uh, that was great. Phew, looks like he was able to wrap up this little escapade without making a scene. But more importantly, Atticus has already made a friend at school. Kinda makes me feel bad that I thought I had to spy on him. Anyways, I guess I'll get going. Hasla V-Star! Gonna see you again sooner than later, Penny. But I guess we should check on Arvin. Yep. Now I gotta go to the art room. I'm glad this went from me seeing if teachers could donate to a statue to me chasing down Penny. And Arvin. It's good stuff. Brenton, boy did you pick a great moment to stop on by. Take a look at this! This is supposed to be a sample from my mom's research from back when she was a student. <laughs> That's what Director Clavel here told me. He's been helping me out. When Sada was a student at this academy, I was still a mere researcher myself. Among my peers, it was already being bandied about that an astonishingly gifted young woman was studying at Naranja Academy. 
So she really was always amazing. Right from the start, huh? Oh, I guess I never really questioned it. But why is your office full of all this equipment? Asking all the deep questions. Oh, so you finally noticed, have you? This room was once your mother's research lab. Oh, the feels! Oh, no! It was? From what I've heard recounted, she apparently would become so absorbed in her research that she hardly ever returned to her dorm room. She spent most nights sleeping here, in fact. I also find myself more at ease surrounded by such research equipment, so I took the liberty of adapting the room to serve as my office. I never knew. All these pieces of my mom's life, they were right in front of me this whole time. I spent so long trying not to think about her that I never even noticed. Until now. Thanks for telling me about this, Director Clavel. And Printon, thanks for being here with me to learn about it too. Ah, uh, Master Arvin, I also intend to explain about these trophies here. And he's already gone. Rather hard to pin down, isn't he? Off like a flash as soon as some new thought crosses his mind. My dear Sada. I think that son of yours takes after you a very great deal. Uh, what about Toro? Are we gonna talk about Toro and Scarlet at all? No. What about the trophies? I wanna know. No, I don't get to learn nothing. I don't get to learn nothing about the trophies you somewhat subtly mentioned. Now that you talked about this area being Sada's alternative lab? No, oh, no, I'm not salty about that at all, jeez. Okay, to the art room. At least there'll be a teacher there. I can talk to them and see if I can get donations going. Oh, not yet. First, we gotta see who else Penny is spying on. How, how are you doing, Brenton? I've never been inside the art room before. It smells like paint in here, but in a good way. So, what brings you here today? Um, well, I'm worried about this rumor that's going round. A rumor, you say? People are saying Team Star is planning to raid the art room or something. It's probably just rubbish made up by some kids who are still scared Team Star, though. My friends would never do anything like that. And who'd want to raid the art room anyways? <gasps> knock, knock! We're coming in! Did you actually show up? Oh, wrong person. Wow, this Star Raptor is incredible. It looks just like it's about to attack with close combat. Hey, you at the art club or what? Uh, yeah, I am. Don't tell me that the rumors were for real. Are they actually gonna invade the art room? No, there's no way. They won't. We should just keep watching. So, uh, did you need something? Uh, yeah, I, um, <clears throat> I have to... Ass. I'm here to ask. I'm gonna mess up the lines anyways. I'm wondering if you got any last words, punk! Oh. No way! It's a raid! This is literally a raid! Uh, knock it off, Melee. Being shy is one thing, but if you can't go... But you can't go around threatening people to cover it up. Uh, right. Sorry, I... Airy, my bad. So, uh, how about your club? The art club, I mean. I, um, I was wondering if I could join... Oh, you wanted to ask about club membership? Sheesh, you scared me there. 
We're open to any students who want to join, but, uh... Yes, isn't that great, Melly? Hang on, Aerie. This guy still got something to say. Spit it out, then! I gotta earn my way in or what? Uh, no, it's just... I was hoping I could ask what prompted you to go to the art club, that's all. You're asking me why I want to join? Well, if I gotta explain... One of my pals made this outfit for me. These sick boots and everything. I'm a big fan. No, I'm big into flame patterns like this. So I want to try and make something like it myself. So yeah, painting. That's what I want to do. I'm a total newbie at it, but... I realized something when I saw that real simple looking fletchling painting on the wall there, which is super charming. I don't have to be some kind of genius artist. I just want to make art that has its own charm, you know? Yeah! Self-taught artist! Love it! The Fletching Pain? Uh, I did that one. That one's yours? I thought it was like a finger pain by a kindergartner or something. Uh, <laughs> I get that all the time. Our president's paintings are real lovable, cause they're real simple. Everyone says so. Huh? You're the art club's president? I can already tell we're gonna have lots of fun in the club together. Could you tell us your name? Your boots are awesome! Can I get a closer look? Uh, the name's Mella. And yeah, good height. My boots are the best. A pal of mine who's a big arts and crafts nerd made them for me. So the raid thing was just a misunderstanding. Well, that's a relief. But wow, I didn't know that Melee wanted to join the art club. I can't wait to see what Melee paints. I bet it will be something amazing, huh? Yeah, I guess. Oh, Mary! How'd you... How'd you know we were here? Oh, wait. Were you supposed to be hiding? I was wondering what was going on. You were just kind of hanging out in the open over here. But you don't need to worry anyway. Melly's been too nervous to notice you. Wow, so even Melly gets the jeers sometimes. Trying new things is scary for everyone. That's why I came with her for moral support. But you know, I think she'll be just fine. And she's not the only one doing something new. Carmen and I have started up a wrestling club. Melly will have a blast here, I'm sure. So I gotta keep up with her. I'll enjoy the time I have left at the Academy as much as I can. What's next? Are we gonna wash off the face paint so we can see your face under that? Anyways, it was nice bumping into you both. Hasla V-Star! Uh, Melly and Aerie really are putting themselves out there, aren't they? I guess I'll head off too. Hasla V-Star! Hasta la vista! I did it wrong, but whatever. <laughs> Let's me look at all the simple, fun paintings again. And also these intricate ones. Ah, uh, teacher, do you want to donate to a cause? Hello there, Brinton. Please stay for as long as you wish. No, you're not going to donate at all. Why would you mention that? I thought that was a hint. But no, I guess not. Now we gotta go see what Arvin's up to. He probably found a book that has to do with... Sada. So... Is he over here? Near the glitchy box Risu? Nope! Alright, we'll check over on the other end. Oh my gosh, this game's folding in on itself. There he is! Found him! Thank goodness. Yo, champ! 
coming to hit the books? Uh, I'm just passing through. Looking for you. What, you just felt like climbing all those stairs to train your legs or something? Something along those lines. Or you wanna know why I'm here? Uh, yeah. I'm still working on my own little treasure hunt. Trying to find myself and all. Why I was here at the entrance hall, digging through my mom's research reports, I found this on one of the bookshelves. Is it the Scarlet Book? I really wanna look in that thing! This book was so precious to my mom that she even kept a copy of it in the lighthouse. Oh my gosh, I think it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is. It's the Scarlet Book. Yes, can I please look at it? Please, please, please. Even though it's not the real version, please. This is my first time really being the bits that aren't about the Herba Mystica. They're amazing. I mean, it all sounds super fake. But it's got all these cool pictures, and it's real fun to read. Like, look at this entry here. Don't show it. Don't show it. Oh my gosh! Ah! Okay. Alright, that's my fault. I thought it was only in violet, which makes no sense. Jeez. The text on this page is all smudged and blurry in every copy of this book I've ever seen. Seems kind of suspicious, right? Of course, the whole book is full of unbelievable stories, the Urban Mystica being one of them. But they turn out to be real. And after everything we saw in Area Zero, well, makes it hard to say it's all nonsense, huh? In fact, I think it might have been this book that made my mom want to become a researcher. I bet she's got so fixated with the ancient Pokemon she read about in here that made her want to see one for herself. She's not the only one fixated on things that could get someone in trouble. Wait, hold on. Isn't my mom's time machine the whole reason the ancient Pokemon ended up here in the first place? That is correct! This book is from way before she made the time machine, but it mentions ancient Pokemon. Isn't that kinda... weird? Hmm... Oh well, I'm sure it's all just made up anyways. Yeah, sure, we'll tell ourselves that. But my mom believed that nonsense, and even managed to make it a reality. I guess she really was something! I'm going to learn from her example and start giving it my all, too. I got something I got to do now, but I'll see you around, little buddy. So, uh, we just got a look at a Pokemon that's going to be in the DLC after the DLC has started to come out. Boy, I really blew that one hard. But hey, I like the presentation I gave for that one page of the Scarlet Book. Before we even knew about Pheasantipity, before we knew about Ogre Pond, before we knew about any of the other Pokemon that would show up in Part 1 and technically Part 2, I could have saw that page earlier. So, um, we're going back. And we're gonna pay for the stupid statue ourselves. Well, myself. So, hope you enjoy that. I'm not sure if I will. Alright, let's get on the plane and fly with Dragonite! Fly! It's the only animation that shows up. Also a neat thing, why it is daytime here in the Paldean region, it is nighttime. And insert name here. The land of Kitakami. So that's nice. I really like that that's a thing that can happen. Oopsie. I didn't mean to do that. 
Okay, where's the donation pool? No, 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 I don't care to read your fake description. I just want to donate to this stupid thing. But I guess I probably have to be somewhere else to do that. Either that or I need to talk to the right p person. <laughs> I said person! Whatever, I don't think that was the person. Didn't I already... Oh cool, I found Bellsprout. Somewhere. That's not a bell sprout. Moving on! Let's just pay this silly statue off already. That way I can try to get more of this game going. I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but I am trying to complete the Pokedex for the land of Kitakami. And there is a very good chance that I have not even... Oops, I keep pressing the wrong button. Keep pressing the wrong button. I may have not uh, gone through all the rewards yet. Wait, I don't have Yanma? But well, that was stupid of me. Alright, well, I need to catch a Yanma. But in the meantime... We're here to collect 60,000. Take it all! Goodness me! You really wish to give us an entire 100,000 at once? Not million? My bad. Why well, accept your kind support and gratitude. And here, a little something for you in return. <laughs> Pretty feathers! Perfect! That's what I was looking for. Keep going. Okay. We're gonna have to cut forward a bit. They're all just pretty feathers. I hate that so much. I'm only halfway there. Alright, take the stupid money. With interest. Oh, I hate when games do this. Where I have to do a little at a time. Oh! With that donation! Oh, oh my! We've reached the goal of one million pokey! All by one single person! Now we can at last restore Loyalty Plaza to the way it was. Let me call a contractor at once. Beep boop beep boop. Hello? Yes, yes, it's me again. We were able to raise the funds for the project. Which would have been easier if it went like Animal Crossing where certain people could fund it if we were all playing on the same game. I don't know. Well, have a nice. They say they're already done. Why don't we head over and see the fruits of your labor? Cool, I got nothing bad to do. It's not looking like I'm looking for a werebear or something dumb yet spoiler like that. Oh, would you just look? It's perfect! It's exactly the way it was! Why do we need a million for this? Thanks to our We Love Loyalty Plaza drive, the old monument's been restored. You couldn't add, like, gold or some of the crystals from the lake. Goodness, did we ever do a fine job? It's hard to believe it's not the exact same monument, right? We even recreate the scratches and blemishes it had before. That's a good use of the money, too. <laughs> now that's a true craftsmanship and dedication for you. I mean, I talk about certain ports. It's like, well, it better be related to the, like, super, 
Okay, let's let's just throw this out there. Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz versus Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD. Nostalgia is a powerful drug, and because of that, I hate Banana Blitz HD. Moving on. It's just what the villagers needed. It's just what we need to draw in more tourists so we'll take more photos. Ha <laughs> ha, we confirm that it is a tourist trap. We'll be topping in tourism in no time! <laughs> I'm the real villain! Hooray! Come on! All together now! Hooray! I do all this for an emote! Ah, oh, is this Fortnite? Gosh dang it! We also have a special gift for you, Brenton, which may be better. A festival gym by Flashy. Ooh. We had a bit left over from the fundraiser, so I went ahead and glammed that up for you. Wear it out and about to advertise the wonders of Kita Kami to all your friends in Paldea. You really, really want me to just get tourists for you, huh? Wow, caretaker. Wow. Look at this, Pheasantipity! Your loyalty has been restored. Although I do want to point something interesting out. Uh, okay. I thought I was going to react to Pheasantipity, but whatever. Something kind of interesting that may or may not matter to you guys at all. I got a lot more lore about these Pokemon and they all have to do with this toxic chain for okie dogie it transformed a powerful physique for Munkidori it stimulated the brain and caused psychic powers to bloom and for Vezendipity it made it look beautiful and lovely with a lovely voice, but it's still toxic! And I kind of wonder if maybe there was something that allowed them to find it. At the same time, I feel like we've overdone this. Alright, so let me just get to the next portion of the actual DLC. Like I said, I'm trying to complete the Pokedex. Now, aside from Yanma. Whoops. I have gotten nearly every single Pokemon aside from a few evolutions. And even though I had went to Timeless Woods, in fact, I have been every single place. One thing that was surprising to me is that I could not find any trace of... Give me a sec, we're gonna cut this part out. I, I couldn't find any trace of any Hizuian Pokemon. You know, stuff like Weirdeer, Basque Legion, stuff like that. So I figured out I was in the clear. And then I found this terror raid. And it looks so suspiciously like one of the Hizuian Pokemon. And then I thought about how it wouldn't show up unless it was part of the Pokédex. And then I went, ah! Hey everyone, we the play Brenton Boshrix of YouTube. I already said this. Um, this is a quick little thing that I'm doing before I even get Shiny Arbok to my game or do the next ludicrous thing I'm about to do. Kind of a segue. Awkwardly placed, but I just want to show it anyways. So, there was a Milotic that showed up here, which means you can find Feebas. But I had no clue where Feebas was until good old Twit and X end up spoiling it for me. They didn't show exactly where it was located, but I knew for a fact it was a cave. So if you go to the left from where you find Milotic, 
It is right here. Now, I had found this by accident and I tried to climb back out. But these are unclimbable walls. So, down I go. Whee! So, I've never actually been down here. I started to go down, but I decided I was going to hold off until the bail. By the way, I have also not talked to the teachers to see if I could get funds or done whatever else I decide to do earlier. But I am going to try to get a feed bass and hopefully one of those scales that I need in order to evolve feed bass. There is a waterway. If I go further, so I guess I will do that. Still no fee bass. I just need to find one. Dang it. The only place that you can find fee bass in the entire game. You know, that's... That's probably a good this damn one. All right, I confirmed it. So I just need to catch the sucker. All right, there we go. Phoebus has been registered, but I still need to find what is it? The marble scale. I still need to find the I am to be able to evolve Phoebus. So since. There is still more to explore. I'm going to go this way and hope I can find something. Except for this pit that obviously is probably going to bring me somewhere I've already been. I mean, I could check my items just to be sure I didn't already grab it by accident. I just don't know how to evolve the Feebass. But whatever, down the hole we go. Maybe if Kvidon stops rubbing himself against the box or whatever the heck is happening. Give me a sec. I don't see any shiny Pokemon, by the way. Okay, try that again. Down we go. Alright, I made it. But, uh, once again, I still need an I am to evolve fee bass. So I am back in Oni's Mall. Perfect place for me to be. Well, uh, I did half of what I wanted. But you know what? That first half was probably going to be more difficult than the second half. Maybe I just need to go... You taunt me, game. Maybe I just need to go to the shop and see if they sell it. If not, I will look up how to evolve Milotic. Now back to me doing something that I'm not 100% sure was a good idea. Okay, so this is actually one of the last videos I'm recording for this whole project. Even though it's going to be condensed, excuse me, it's going to be cut into two videos. Um, I had basically pointed out that this bugger right here is part of the Pokédex for Scarlet and Violet now. So it made me think... What if all these Pokemon were part of the Scarlet and Violet Pokedex now? Now, uh, I'm just gonna spoil it. No, no, they're not. It's just these two. But, um, I decided I was going to go out of my way to get some very special Pokemon that I'm going to transport to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And no, it's not this list. It's this list. Do you see the difference? 
Also, don't worry about this black square right here. Um, I have a video to uh, showcase that. Okay, so this is going to be a live reaction. I kind of did this somewhat unintentionally when I evolved a shiny uh, Ursa Ring, which Ursa Luna shiny form barely looks like much. So I have not seen what a shiny um, weird deer looks like. So I recreate the Legends Arceus OBS setup, more or less. So I could do this one bit for Pokemon Scarlet. Hi, post editor Brenton here to clarify something. You have no idea how long it took me to even find a shiny Stantler. I practically spun in the air. This shouldn't have been a Pokemon that would be this hard to find. But this whole darn Scarlet project has taken me so long to do. I haven't even transferred the shiny Hazuian Pokemon you were seeing. I'm so exhausted. And I said that I wasn't even going to edit any of this video at 1115, 2023. But, uh, yeah, no, I guess that was a lie. So here, enjoy this jump scare. It was... It was so unexpected. I had to take footage of it. I'm sorry it is blaringly loud. Blame the Pokemon company for their sound mixing. Look, if I had to go through torture, then you have to go through a little bit of it too, okay? So let's do it! Please be good. Please don't look too plain. Please be distinctive. Okay! Okay! Uh, the lime green for Stantler was a little too much, but I think this is a nice, a nice medium. I think. Yeah, I haven't seen this one before. Oopsie. Try that again. Try it one more time. Oh, for the love of Pete. Go away from the thousands of orange berries I've left on the ground, please. There we go! I got it! <laughs> uh, we can go into full screen. Yeah, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. I can tell it's a shiny. I mean, um, yeah, I can tell it's a shiny. It's a little bit faint, but if you look at it long enough, you can tell it's a shiny. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's, that's good dialogue there, Brenton. Hope it looks good in Scarlet and Violet. So yes, nearly every single one of these Pokemon are shiny. And if they're not, they are basically bigger versions of the Pokemon. Like this one here. But, uh... It took me a while to do all this, especially with Stantler. Like, you have no, no clue, no clue at all how long it took to find a shiny Stantler. I got so desperate that I wanted to go look for a Stantler on my Pokemon Gold slash Silver game. And then I learned, uh, no, I can't because I erased it for the f idea that I was going to do a Let's Play. Which reverted to me doing it on an emulator. So, good on me. So, I went to Pokemon Planum, got myself a, you know what? 
So, I went to Pokemon Platinum. I got myself a deer, no, not deerling, my gosh, Stantler. I got myself a Stantler using the Poke Radar, because apparently P Platinum is the only game. Is it Platinum? No, no, it's not Platinum. It's my old copy of Pokemon Pearl that I've had ever since I purchased it. Aside from Sapphire, literally the only other Pokemon that game that I have that works that I've had ever since I was a child. I went to that game specifically to find a Stantler, specifically to trade it to Pokemon Black and White, which that has its own little video that's coming up, which specifically went to Pokemon Sun, so I could specifically put in the ranch to specifically braid it with a Japanese Ditto and get a shiny, but no, 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 no. I, I found the Stantler myself in this game after spending days and hours like I think I was awake for a full 24 hours just playing this game just to get a shiny Stantler just to get a shiny weird ear I just <laughs> why why and this was all so I could put them into a different game because I found out by accident oopsie that this thing is in the game? Why? <laughs> oh. And, and don't even ask me about the shiny Baskelin. I was lucky I got one. Just one shiny. Technically I got two, but they're both female, so... Rip that dream. I just... I don't want to play video games anymore. At least not till Mario and Sonic come out, so I have something to actually look forward to. Back to you, present. No, back to you, pre. <laughs> Past me. We'll we'll just stick with that take. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna record this just in case this leads to something. Oh gosh, it does. <laughs> Is this what I was looking for? Let's find out! I was cleaning out one of the warehouses when I found these. Not sure what to do with them. That is the grandmother, not grandfather. Do you think you could take them off my hands? Oh, more festival Jimbani. Neither Carmine or Karen fit this size anymore. I know the colors match my grandkids' gym by, but don't worry, these aren't hand-me-downs. They're practically brand new. Okay, thanks. Uh, guess that's all I'm getting out of this. Sorry for all these awkward transitions. I just remembered there was someone over here that I don't think was here before. And I think he might have something important to say. Oh, hello, hello, Brenton. Enjoying that school trip, are you? Mr. Jock, why are you here? <laughs> I came to check out how you're doing. I am your homeroom teacher, after all. At least you're more trustworthy than that new lady. Once I got here, I decided to do a bit of research of the Pokemon Key to Kami and... Oh, that's right. Sorry. I got so engrossed in my own research that I actually forgot to come find you, didn't I? Whoops. <laughs> well, how about I make it up to you by treating you to a picnic? I thought something like this might happen, so I bought all the usual picnic things from Director Clavel. I saw him recently. Oh, there's a gulpin on the table. I'm sure that's not a problem. Dig in. I hope you like the sandwich I made. It may, um, look a bit strange, but I can assure you it tastes great. I don't get out much. This is kind of field work that sure wears me out quick. Something like that. 
I can't believe how you kids run all over the place for your treasure hunt. You're really something. It's mostly Karide on doing the running. Oh, could there be something in my basket? An egg, perhaps? I might be joking, but I don't know. Ha! <laughs> I was joking. Face your eyes on that! A Pokemon egg appeared in the basket! Who would have thunk? Quite the mystery, isn't it? And that lighting is atrocious. I only brought Gulpin to this picnic with me, and yet... Uh, did you put the egg in the basket? Gulpin would need to be, uh, you know... Doing something with... I can't get past anything past you, can I, Brinton? You know about the Pokemon eggs you find during picnics, right? Whenever a trainer doesn't have the means to care for an egg they find, they can have it sent to the academy, where we'll take care of it. Oh, where is this going? Could this be like a way to hatch eggs also? Then I thought, say, wouldn't it be better to have a great trainer raise the Pokemon instead? So I brought this egg with me! And now it's yours, Brinton! Huzzah! Why do I have a feeling I already know what it could be? I know it's odd of me to come all the way to Kitakami just to hand over a Pokemon egg, but I knew it'd be safe with you, Brinton. That reminds me, are you still using the Pokedex app over here too? You should be able to fill in the Kitakami Pokedex by catching Pokemon that live around here. That's why you're here. I'll be doing some field research in the area for a while, field work. So let me know if you manage to complete the Kitakami Pokedex in your app. No, I'm still missing a Yanma. <laughs> okay, uh, back to whatever I was doing for now. It's gonna be so much fun trying to figure out how to add this. The egg is hatching! What is it going to be? I have one single solitary guess. <laughs> and I'm wrong! I was dead wrong! It's a Piplup! Aww, so cute! Is Piplup part of the Pokedex? I actually don't know. Oh, boy. Okay, I know this video's already longer than I even initially wanted it to be, but hear me out. There was one more component that made this so tedious. Remember when I said Twitter spoiled where V-Bass basically was? That wasn't the only thing it spoiled. Oh, no. Heck no. There was some kind of quote-unquote new Pokemon that showed up that was related to another Pokemon and I thought I needed to find that before I could do anything else so part of my time was wasted in this forest which almost seems like it has nothing here to begin with unless and I can't stress this enough an event takes place they activate said event so said Pokemon might show up. Listen guys, this whole this whole post game thing, I screwed up big time. I was trying my hardest to avoid spoilers, but then I caved in and thought that there wasn't anything else to the game and I was dead wrong. When the Indigo Disc comes out, I'm gonna do this way differently. So, uh, let's just acknowledge that I made a mistake and move on to the very, hopefully, last thing that this DLC has in store. One last secret that was blown out of the water for me because of social media. This is going to also become apparent in the next video that I make, so, uh, look forward to that, because I won't. But, y you know what? This has already taken way too long as it is. You can see I got the haircut, you can see there's some damage to my face. 
let's just stop off here and I can promise you that I will finish at least a good chunk of the remaining Teal Mask DLC in the next video that will come out either this week or next. So, till then, this has been We The Play. I got nothing left to say because I'm going to faint again. But, but other than that, I'm going to try to enjoy my day. And you do too. I messed up my own outro. So take care out there and I'll catch you later. Gotta remind myself I'm still recording. The bear is not evolving. There's so many different ideas on how I think I can get this Pokemon that I wasn't supposed to know about. But I don't know what it is I need to do. I think there would be a hint here. One of the things that bugs me is that Basque Legion is apparently in the game. I haven't seen a Basque Legion. I haven't seen a Kazooian uh, Basquealist. Well, I already forgot what it's called, but I haven't seen that. The only hint that there are Hizuian Pokemon was because of that one lady. Now, there is a chance that maybe this will all be revealed once I do catch 150 Pokemon. So, I guess there's still that option. At this point, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. So, I'm not 100% sure what the lady with the camera does. Only that she has a Hizuian Growlithe with her. But I just wanted to try to see. I wanted to find out if there was something I was missing. Now I think the counter actually ended up updating when I hatched an egg. So if that's the case... There might be a quote-unquote easier way to do this. I have no idea if I'm gonna use this video in any capacity or even just put up on W2P Extra just for people to look at and shake their heads. But unless Ursaluna is somehow involved in considering I feel like the punk Pokemon company would be dropping some kind of hint to how to get this Pokemon. I think my next goal really should just be trying to get 150 Pokemon in this region. So Yes, I'm going to do that. BRB.